Today is day number three of the World Club Dome. Heading there right now. I DJed the first day, which was really fun. A lot of backstage fun as well. <laughs> Second day, Dimitri Vegas and like Mike. It's the craziest crowd in the whole wide world! Today it's Black Eyed Peas, Robin Schultz and Marshmallow. Are you ready for the huge lineup? Sure. I have to say I'm a little exhausted after now two days partying. back huh. and I'm again confused it's again this circle with all of the stages let's maybe go to the main stage first yeah. that's what it usually looks like here that's Fortuna Düsseldorf my hometown football club they're right now not doing that well but let's not talk about that today it's all about music <laughs> Really sorry we missed Marshmallow, but yeah, that's that's it. That's it with the World Club Dome 2018. Are you filming us being wasted right oh, now? Oh yes. You have to introduce yourself for the people that don't know you. I'm Bolier. What's yes. up? <laughs> this is Martin Garrix bringing it down for World Club Dome. He's, he's like he's a legend. We might even do an interview maybe in Amsterdam, close to Amsterdam. Hopefully. Yeah, like, you can uh, still drop me a call, you know? Yeah, of course. I, I will, I will. One last shot of the arena. They're now cleaning up, packing everything. So yeah, that's really it. Now, just heading back home. Back home. Let's get actually to, to my thoughts, my review kind of part of this event. I really liked it, especially the lineup. Three days where you had like Dimitri Vegas and like Mike, not really my music. <laughs> but they definitely moved the crowd the most. Chainsmokers was just amazing. Unfortunately, they were DJing the same time I was DJing, so less people showed up to my gig, but I mean, you, you can't compete with them. There's no way. So I'm all fine with that. The price for the lineup is actually quite fair. I have to say if you compare it to Ibiza or Vegas or even just other cities, you pay the same amount just for one of these guys showing up. The organization, security, everything was fine and good and worked. Also the transport to the event and back with public transportation was, was extremely good for so many people showing up. Prices of the drinks, yes, a little more than, than maybe needed, but that's typical for these kind of events. Stage design, lights, everything was good and fine and, and up to par. There were just like two or three things I would really love to see being changed for the next event. First of all, this entire front row system creates this really, really bad vibe. I, I had the feeling like, I mean, these events where you have so many DJs are already a lot harder because the crowd is very mixed. Like someone techno, someone marshmallow, someone chain smokers. So it's, it's hard for all of the acts to please everyone. So usually at these events, the vibe is a little bit less than if you just go to a Robin Schultz concert 
and it's just him and everyone showing up just wants to see him. And then this front row kind of system, yeah, it, it really even kills the vibe more. Just to explain it really quick, you needed special tickets to enter the first third or quarter of the entire stage of the main stage. So it happened a lot that the actual fans that just got normal tickets because they might not be able to afford, uh, I think it was 90 euros or something like that plus to get at the very front of the stage. And I think the people that are the hardcore fans should be able to go there. The ones that show up early, the ones that just fight their way through to get there and that party the hardest and not people paying more and even worse press like Instagram influencers artists they all had access to this and these kind of people don't really party they're not the fans not the hardcore fans so please give the hardcore fans the chance to be right there in front it's also way more fun for the djs it looks better because most of the time this front row wasn't even full which killed the vibe even more so i think this this really needs to go or, or maybe just make it smaller i even talked to one of the the organizers and they said they expected to sell more but then maybe after the first day, just just move this this um, fence that was separating the sections a little further to the front, or maybe just give um, some of the people that seem to be really fans and are in the second section at the very front, maybe give them a pass to to go to the really front of the stage. So this is one thing where I think it could make the event so much better just by changing something small, and I know and. I, I can also understand that they might have to charge more for, for the front just to make more money because they have to pay these superstar acts quite a lot of money and then you have the risk of running these kind of events so it's, it's not easy I fully understand it but maybe there is a way to make everyone happy and just get the hardcore fans to the front of the stage please. Then there were like small things, nitpicky things for example um, some of the stages were right next to the food court so you had the food smell the entire time while dancing might not be the most pleasing and then there were a lot of stages that were like almost completely pointless and completely empty which is kind of sad for the artists and also for for the people visiting this was especially noticeable on sunday because i think on sunday evening less people show up because they have to work the next day and the main stage was so strong with robin schultz black eyed peas and marshmallow that most people were on the main stage and the rest seemed a little empty at the end of the day. But all in all, great. I, I was happy to be part of it. There are some things I didn't like about how the artist got treated and some of these things were really unorganized, but that's something I, I, I won't discuss publicly. That's something I will address directly. So yeah, anyways, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the past videos all from the club dome if you've missed them if you want to check out the other artists the vibe there that was going on and just see for yourself what these kind of events look like just um yeah check out yesterday's video and the video from the day before and we will just see us tomorrow back again in the studio making music as much as i can my ears are yeah ringing a bit but that's my fault not putting the plugs in